Hi. Various videos that I'm creating in late 2021, early 2022, are part of a series of very old or esoteric or classic writings. I'm not certain how the most effective release for this sort of material on YouTube fits with the general viewership or with people who are most particularly interested. I'm experimenting with different formats. If you're interested in more of this, please consider to subscribe and leave me a comment. Maybe like the video. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy. This is The Ordinal of Alchemy by Thomas Norton. Chapter 4 Of the gross work now I will not spare, though it be secret, largely to declare. To teach you the truth is my intent as far forth as I dare for God's commandment. I will inform and guide you in the way, in such wise as you may find your prey, if you consider how the parts of works be out of order set by the old clerks. As I said before, the masters of this art, every each of them disclosed but a part, wherefore, though ye perceive them as ye would, Yet ye cannot order and join them as ye should. Arnold showeth in his writing how our final secret is to know the thing whereupon our work should take her ground, and how pure natures and simple may be found. In his book beginning Multiferi, he saith in our grounded matter two kinds be, but how to find them he kept that in store Ye have their names the last chapter before. Freer Bacon disclosed more of that point when he said, Depart ye every joint, in elementa propinqua. Take good heed thereto, but unwise doctors never worken so, but headily they proceed, as men well nigh mad. To the matters divisible, more matters they add. So when they wean to bring forth a flower, they do nothing but multiply error. There ceased bacon, and so do other such, for very dread lest they should show too much. Avison in Porta wrote, if you remember, how you should proceed perfection to engender. Truly teaching as the pure truth was, comedes ut bebes, et bebes ut comedes. Eat as it drinketh, and drink as it doth eat. And in the mean season take it a perfect sweet. Rassus set the dietary, and spake some deal far. Non temen comedat res festinanter. Let not your matters eat over hastily, but wisely consume their food leisurely. Hereof the prophet made wondrous mention if ye apply it to this intention. Visitasti terum et inebriasti eum, multiplicasti locupletere eum, terum fructiferum in sosugenem et terum sine aqua in exitus aquarum. This translated from Latin to English is You visited the land and satisfied her, you multiplied, enriched her land, fruitful in salt, and earth without water into springs of water. If it have plenty of meat and of drink, men must wake when they desire to wink, for it is labor of watch and pains great. Also the food is full costly meat. Therefore all poor men beware, said Arnold, for this art longeth to great men of the world. Trust to his words, ye poor men all, for I am witness that so ye find shall. Esto long animus et suavis, said he, for hasty men the end shall never see. Esto long animus et suavis, from Latin to English is, be long-suffering, patient, and sweet. The length of cleansing of matters infected deceiveth much people, 
for that is unexpected. Wherefore, poor men, put ye not in priests, such wonders to seek, but in season cease. Excess for one half quarter of an hour may destroy all. Therefore, chief secur is primum pro quo et ultimum pro quo non, to know of the simmering of our stone. Primum pro quo et ultimum pro quo non means for the first, not for the last. Till it may no more simmer, do not cease. And yet long continuance may not cause increase. Remember that water will bubble and boil, but butter must simmer and also oil. And so with long leisure it will waste, and not with bubbling made in haste. For doubt of perils many more than one, and for supergression of our stone. Amongst gross works, the foulest of all is to clarify our means mineral. Extremities may not be well wrought, without many means wisely sought. And every mean must be made pure, if this work should be made sure. For foul and clean by natural law hath great discord, and so hath ripe and raw. Steadfast to steadfast will itself combine, and fleeting to fleeting will draw by kind. And ever where as the concordance is more, natures will draw that were elsewhere before. This gross work is foul in her kind, and full of perils as ye shall it find. No man's wit can him so much avail, but that sometime he shall make a fail, as well as the layman, so shall the clerk, and all that labor the gross work. Whereof an exaggerus said truly thus, Nemo primo fronte reparatur descritus. And once I heard a wise man say, How in Catalonia at this day, Magnetia with mineral means all, be made to sail if ye for them call, whereby the hands of a cleanly clerk shall not be soiled about so foul a work. And long time sooner your work, I understand, should be far onward beforehand. For if you should make all things as I can, ye might be weary before your work began. The philosopher's work do not begin till all things be pure without and within. We that must seek tincture most specious must needly avoid all things wild and vicious. Of manifold means each hath his property to do his office after his degree. With them hid things be outfetched, some that will help and some that would let. Our apothecaries to dress them can no skill, and we to teach them have no manner of will, whereof the cause truly is none other, but that they will counteract to beguile their brother, rather than they will take the pain thereto belonging, ere they should it attain. It is their use whereof my heart is sore, much to desire and little to do therefore. Who would have true work? He may no labor spare, neither yet his purse, though he make it bare. And in the gross work he is furthest behind, that daily desireth the end thereof to find. If the gross work, with all his circumstance, were done in three years, it were a blessed chance. For he that shall end it once for certain shall never have need to begin again, if he his medicine wisely can augment. For that is the mastery of all our intent. It needeth not to name the means mineral, for Albert writeth openly of them all. Much I might write of natures of minds, which in this gross work be but I engines. For in this work find ye nothing shall, but handicraft called artimechanical. 
wherein an hundred ways and more you may commit a fault as ye therein go. Wherefore believe what old doctors tell, without experience ye may not do well. Consider all circumstances, and set your delight to keep uniformity of all things requisite. Use one manner of vessel in matter and in shape. Beware of commixtion that nothing miscape. An hundred faults in special ye may make under this warning general. Nevertheless, this doctrine will suffice to him that can in practice be wise. If your ministers be witty and true, such shall not need your works to renew. Therefore, if you will avoid all dread in the gross work do by my read, take never thereto no household man. They be soon weary, as I tell can. Therefore, take no man thereto, but he be waged. However you do, not by the month, as nay as you may, nay by the week, but by the day, and that your wages be to their mind, better than they elsewhere can find, and that they need not for wages sue, but that their payment be quick and true, for that shall cause them to love and dread, and to their works to take good heed, for doubt lest they be put away, for negligence of them in one day. Household men will not do so, from this work, therefore, let them go. If I had known this, and had done so, I had avoided mickle woe. Also in this work must be liberty, without impediment, in every degree, with diverse comforts, pains to release, of labors continual, which may not cease, else anguish of labor and melancholy might be cause your works to destroy. Of the gross work it needs to show no more. For old men have taught the remnant before, and what is necessary that they left out, this book showeth it without doubt. Wherefore this little book, the ordinal, is in alchemy the complement of all. The chapter following, convenient for a clerk, showeth the counsels of the subtle work.